All right, guys, I'm back doing the second video for the um, embellishment box swap at Mandy's place. So I just had done the video about the Shabby Chic. Now I'm going to show you guys the clean and simple ones. This is what I did for my design on my clean and simple. Just some black, white, threw in a little bit of red. And I got, again, a tag with my information on the back. And I made one for Mandy also. So let me stretch over here and get it really quick. Hers had a little bit of different paper also. Um, I had cut out her papers and they got lost. <laughs> so we had to do some other paper. So anyways, hers is just a little bit different. I did struggle a little bit doing this box. Because I didn't have a whole bunch of stuff that was shabby. Um, that was clean and simple. All my stuff is like shabby chic. That's another reason I wanted to do this swap it so I can get some more stuff that's clean and simple and to me clean and simple is you know n not really busy designs not super crazy colors stuff like that so this is what I did in my box um, our requirements were bling washi and butterflies so over here I have a whole bunch of loose bling and I got some bling on a rope I got this giant diamond and it's got a little um, hole up there you can do that you can even take them apart into two pieces and then um, did a butterfly and I put a whole bunch of loose beads in here <laughs> you guys are probably gonna curse me trying to pick them all out I didn't have anything um, tiny to put them in and then I did a, a hand em made embellishment and I did more envelopes they're all a little bit different and I tried to keep with the same color scheme um, for my washies we got this one, we got some gray stripes, some black and white stripes, some pink, like chevron, and then some glitter washi. And then I gave you guys some um, foam dots, because you can't go wrong with foam dots. And then for more butterflies, because I didn't have like paper butterflies besides the ones that I showed on that box on the shabby chic if you watch that video also but I made those after and they look shabby chic so it didn't work but I got some button butterflies and like I said I got this butterfly and I stamped butterflies on that just got some buttons and some random little things in here and then I did the tags again with the butterfly stamped on it and blank on the back Mandy's flower in this box is different everybody else actually has a black lace flower but I only had three. So you get this flower. Hope that's okay. And then I put some more clothespins in there. And I put silver glitter on them. And I actually even sprayed the clothespins with um, like a sealer. So that the glitter wouldn't flake off. And you can smell it a little in the box when you open it. Hope you guys don't get high opening the box. Sorry. So that would be my clean and simple box. Um, like I said... I struggled a little bit with this one. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope I put enough stuff in there and quality stuff to match up with everybody else's. And then just to close it up, all I did was take a little bit of this. Like It actually matches this, which is kind of funny. That was not intentional. But thick, tooly, fishnetty, whatever it might be, paper. Not paper. <laughs> tool crap sorry and all I did was tighten it and it actually stayed by itself which I thought was kind of cool so that it can be reusable put my tag on here and I just tied it around so you guys could take it off so I hope you guys enjoyed this one thank you again for stopping by and checking out the boxes I can't wait to receive my boxes back from everybody so thank you so much I hope you guys have a great day